everyone. We're going to start skinning our rabbits and we want to just be aware of a couple of injection sites. The arterial injection site, you can see red latex around the throat area where latex was injected into the right carotid artery. We also have venous injection site on the saphenous vein of the, typically of the left leg, but and then we also have an incision down the middle where we want to just be, be careful. This is where they opened up the rabbit to inject the hepatic system, like around the liver, with uh, yellow latex. This helps us see the structures in place and more clearly identify things. So when starting the skinning process, you want to find a fold of skin along the back. We're starting on the back because there's some delicate abdominal muscles that you don't want to accidentally cut too deep. So pinch up a little fold of skin, make a small snip, and once you're, once you're through the skin, and then you can start with your blunt probe or with the closed end of your scissors, start sweeping back and forth to loosen the skin from the underlying muscle tissue. We do want to take the skin all the way off the arm, uh, up to the wrist, and then down to the ankle. So we will be eventually removing the entire foot, but we can keep that ankle covered um, just for now. Now the ears may get in the way because um, they lay flat across the back. We need to see these shoulder muscles. So I do like to tie up the ears um, on top of the head. It's like a little bunny bonnet. <laughs> This large superficial muscle that we're separating, you may notice that there's skin and then you can see some fibrous muscle tissue that's really thin and lying just underneath the skin. We are actually removing this and that's okay, <laughs> you're supposed to. This is the cutaneous maximus and you wanna be a little bit generous about where you're removing. So leave a bit of it connected at the armpit region, but most of it you can just take off and get rid of. So this superficial muscle, when we get to the neck, we'll talk about it a little further, but there is a superficial muscle here called the platysma, which we are not preserving. It's very thin. Um, so if you run into it, I mean, we'll deal with it further in the neck. You don't have to take it off right now, but um, if it'll definitely be cut for the injection site. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry if you see something um, like this.
again, we're being really careful around this top of the shoulder. Um, if your vein is filled, you will see it very clearly. If you have a male, be careful around this region, your inguinal region, so that you don't accidentally sever the spermatic cord it's running out of the abdominal wall. And what if you stay superficial, you should be fine. So stay close to the skin. When skinning the forearm, you want to be very careful about the medial skinning because there's a medial cutaneous nerve that often gets lost. It's okay if you lose it, but you want know, to kind of preserve as much as you can. So as you're going through, you want to sort of push away any material that isn't skin. And I'm using the closed edge of my scissors to just scrape directly at the skin. So I'm not pulling at the underlying tissue, I'm pulling at the skin. As we get part of the way, part of the way down the antebrachium, the forearm, you can go on the lateral side and just cut all the way up to the wrist. all the way up to the wrist on the lateral side. So we can just then, now we're in the clear, we're halfway up, we're in the clear, we can just pull that sock right off. If you do have a male rabbit, uh, the, the class should be split 50-50, but if you do have a male, you want to just cut around the scrotum for now and just leave those until... Oh. <laughs> leave those until the reproductive unit, uh, with the exception of this semester when we're not doing that in person, but eh, just be careful. A vein that you want to, a vein and artery combination, the saphenous group, you want to be careful about that, which is passing superficially along here. You can see the start. So as we go down, just be gentle on the medial side of the leg. Lateral side, you can be a little more cavalier. cut along the bottom of the ulna to relieve the skin so you can pull that off more easily, and then cut along the top, that interior part, along the tibial crest uh, to, to free the leg. All right. 
And that is the goal for our first adventure into our dissection specimens, is skinning. If you do have time at the end of class, it is good to look for these large patches of yellow fat and just get rid of those. Be careful, don't fully remove everything around the shoulders or your arm might fall off. But you can loosen up these big fat pads and uh, just kind of get them out of the way. All right, and this is what we're looking for. Just getting ready to start in on muscle after the osteology exam. Thanks for listening and talk to you later.